often starting in childhood, humans are struck with awe at the dizzying question, why do zebras have black and white stripes? Up until recently, these stripes were thought to have evolved for a multitude of reasons. Maybe it was a form of camouflage, or to confuse predators in the wild. Maybe it's just some sort of social mating call. I mean, who isn't attracted to stripes? Researcher Tim Caro at the University of California, Davis, has painstakingly analyzed these reasons and has discovered that avoiding blood-sucking flies is the only hypothesis of those tested that cannot be ruled out. How did Tim and his team do this? I'll let him explain in his own words. There have been simple experiments carried out in the field since about the 1960s to show that neither tabanids nor tsetse flies are very keen on landing on black and white striped surfaces. Oh wait, Tim, what evolutionary reason explains why flies avoid stripes? No. What our research has done is shifted the focus from asking uh, the rather simplistic question of why are zebras black and white, to asking now what is the fly actually seeing? So uh, we don't know whether it's unable to see black and white stripes or finds them aversive and whether those uh, black and white stripes are uh, aversive because of polarized light or because of reflective light. So that's it. You can now tell your five-year-old self to concentrate on other questions like dinosaur hairstyles or Bigfoot's shoe size.